Hello and welcome to the Agent Survival Guide podcast. This is our series, Agent Apps, and I'm your host, Tina Lamaru. This series introduces you to apps that will make daily life and your business run smoother. From fitness, travel, to personal planners, and more, we've tested them all. This week's apps are holiday apps. It seems like every year, holiday preparations start earlier and earlier. I started my Christmas shopping in July, so I'm already done. I did wait till November 1st to put up my Christmas tree. I'm not a complete holiday monster. If you have a large extended family or friend group, coordinating gifts can get messy. Last year, I had a near miss of buying the same gift as other family members for someone. I don't want that to happen again this year, so I wanted to find some gift registries to share with my extended family. You can create a registry on Amazon, but that limits the choice of stores. This gift registry app is great for any occasion, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, birthdays, weddings, or any celebrations. This app is called Elfster. Elfster is perfect if you're planning a secret Santa or gift exchange. This is what our marketing team uses for our Christmas parties. When you get started, you have two options, create your wish list or organize a gift exchange. You can choose if you want to participate in the exchange or solely be the organizer. Once you set up the parameters for your gift exchange, like price limit, theme, etc., you can add people via email. You can add links from different websites of gifts you want or choose from the wide variety of gifts and stores already connected with the app. As the organizer, you can pair up people for the exchange and the participants can remain anonymous to each other, but they can still communicate if they need to through the app. You can create draw restrictions, which prohibits certain people from matching up. This might be good if you want to diversify the draw and pair people who may not know each other as well or if there's some tension in the family. On your wish list, you can choose to have it public, share it with others who don't have the app, or have your wish list limited, meaning you choose who can see it. Or you can have it private. Not everyone in my family celebrates the same holiday, and some don't celebrate anything during this season. But I still like to give out gifts to every family member to show my care and appreciation for them. So this app definitely helps me keep track of all the gifts that I need. It allows me to share my wish list with my family and friends. My next app for you today is Google Santa Tracker. This is available in app form for Android or you can play it on a web browser. This app has a Christmas countdown clock, fun games, global holiday traditions, and quizzes. As an adult, I had way too much fun exploring this app. There's one game called Code Boogie, designed to help kids understand the steps of coding. You can create your own dance moves or follow the instructions. Once you create your dance sequence, you can view the actual JavaScript code of the dance moves. I thought that was really neat, so if you have any kids who are interested in computers, I highly recommend this game. Another game is Santa Selfie, where you are Santa's barber and help him get photo ready. There's a lot to do in one place on this app. Another neat feature is calling Santa. You can have your Google Assistant connect to Santa in the North Pole, and he can sing you a song or tell you a joke. Google Santa Tracker is a great way to keep your kids entertained or explore the app together as a family. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these apps. Don't forget to like and share, and thanks for your continued support. As always, we'll see you next episode. This podcast is a production of Ritter Insurance Marketing. This episode was written and produced by me, Tina Lamaru, video by George Hevel, script editing by Sarah Rupel, and artwork by Vivian Zhao.